After 14 episodes, we've finally made $100 million on our Billionaire's Beginnings account. It has been quite the grind. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made the last $15 million and share some tips on how new players can make money going forward. So of course, the first money method that I used in this video was the KO Perico heist. We did three total for just over $4 million, which is incredible. I now have them down to a fairly good science where I'm spending about 45 minutes per heist, which is pretty simple. You get it out of the way, but I will say it has gotten to the point where it's a little bit monotonous. Next up, after having purchased this business probably a month or two ago, we finally completed our first Dre contract and it turned out a lot better than I expected just because I didn't think the content was gonna be as interesting, but it turns out it's actually pretty fun. With that, we made just over $1.1 million, which is great. Now, after having completed the Drake contract, I want to spend a little bit more time on the other aspects of the agency. So with that, I did six payphone hits for $510,000, which is pretty enjoyable trying to complete the different challenges. And then we also did 11 security contracts since they were double money last week and earned just over $800,000 with them. And amongst all of this money grinding, I also mixed in three bunker sales, which netted me $630,000. I'm slowly dwindling them out of the money making process, but I'll most likely still use them here and there in the future. The new business, the Acid Lab is incredible. And although I didn't put too much time into it for this episode, it still netted us $1.5 million after three sales. I'm doing those in public lobbies with 25 or more people. So I'm getting the max amount of money possible. Now, along with the Acid Lab, I also spent quite a bit of time on the best passive income business, which is the nightclub. Now, across three nightclub sales, we made just over $3 million. But for the first time, I actually put in a lot of time into nightclub popularity as well. And if you don't know, when your nightclub popularity is maxed out, you will earn $50,000 every in-game day or 48 minutes with your wall safe. And for this episode, you won't believe this, we earned a whopping $1.5 million from the wall safe. Incredible. I had never put time into this, but that is by far the easiest 1.5 million we've ever made in this game. And the final money method that I was using for this week, and probably gonna be one of my favorites going forward, is the auto shop contracts. Now, these are essentially mini heists. You get two setup missions plus a finale. They don't pay crazy. The range is anywhere between $170,000 to $290,000 as a total payout, but they are quite a bit of fun. And I found, of course, the Union Depository to be my favorite contract. And it also happens to be the one that pops up for me the most, but it will earn you $290,000. It takes me about 25 minutes to complete it. I tried out every single contract and I figured out what's my favorite so far and which ones are the ones that I'm gonna avoid in the future, but I found they're just an exciting way to make money now. Of course, nothing's ever gonna beat the KO Preco heist at that 1.3 million for 45 minutes of work, but during that cooldown of the KO Preco heist, during the cooldown of the Dre contract, or just wanting to enjoy the game a little bit more, adding some variety, I found the auto contracts to be a great solution for that. So in total, I ended up doing 10 auto contracts, which netted me just over $200,000. And that is how we made the final $15 million to put us over the $100 million mark. It's been a crazy ride and I've learned quite a few things from this process. And I wanna share with you quickly some things that I would suggest for beginners to do so that you can get started on your money-making process. And then also just some things that I learned as a quote unquote, more veteran player now. So for new players, I highly suggest making money from active businesses when you first start off, meaning that you're making money from actually doing missions or heists or whatever it may be, and it's not passive income where the money's being made in the background. And that's just because it gets you the money faster. Plus, you get to build your skills in the game. And one of the best ways to do that, I think, is to do the first dose missions that unlocks the Acid Lab for you. If you do all six of them, you will earn $500,000. Plus, if you do the 10 Fooligan missions that unlocks the equipment upgrade for you, you will also earn another $500,000, assuming things aren't double money. Uh, so right off the bat, that's a million dollars there. Of course, there's events, time trial, stuff like that, that will earn you one time large amounts of money, but that's a great way to get yourself started is the first dose missions. 
And at the end of that, you could also purchase the Acid Lab and start making passive income if you'd like. You can make upwards of $100,000 every hour passive with it. So it's actually a pretty good business. Uh, that's also a great option. The final piece of advice I'd give for solo players is at the beginning, I get this as a game so you can play it however you want, but I suggest at the beginning to reinvest your money, meaning once you start making money, buy a few more businesses, it gives you variety. So you're able to do whatever you want to make money. Plus, if you could work your way up to two, three, four million dollars, then you'll be able to afford the Kasaka Submarine. Start doing stuff like the Kale Preco Heist that on average makes you 1.3 million dollars for about an hour's worth of work. So this stuff really scales the higher you go up. And for the players that have played for quite some time, my message to you or the thing that I've learned is the money grind is not everything. And I know some of you will most likely know that, maybe even most of you, but I found that I got to a point where when I was doing six, seven, eight KO Prego heists for an episode, awesome, we made 10 plus million dollars, but it gets stale pretty quickly and it takes the fun out of the game. And especially for me as a content creator who's making and playing the game every single day making content for the game we don't want things to get stale and i can only imagine for you guys if this is your outlet to enjoy yourself and have fun and relax the money grind really isn't worth it at the end of the day it is to an extent where i have pretty much all the businesses i want i have 30 million 30 million dollars i can buy whatever car i want any business i want any new content that comes out i'm fine if i need to grind a little bit more to make some extra cash i can but at this point, once you get to this point in the game, there's no there's no need to be going too far, hundreds of millions, billions of dollars. Of course, that's the goal of the series and it will continue to be just because I want to keep innovating uh, and showing you guys new ways to make money. But from here on out, it's going to be more about what's the more enjoyable way to make money. And that's why I started doing stuff like the auto shop contracts, keeps things fresh, keeps things interesting, and it just keeps it a game. That's the most important thing to remember at the end of the day. Make it a game. Keep it a game. You don't have to go too overboard with everything. Anyways, that's all for the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.